subtitle of this basic research is the factors that influence students' attrition during the COVID-19 pandemic, basis for an intervention at the increasing dropout rate in Escuela Secundaria, Senor de Salinas. For the context in rational, one of the problems of schools, both private and public, in all levels, is the number of increasing dropouts. Dropout rate is one of the indicators to measure the efficiency of schools' performance. Due to COVID-19, distance learning modalities such as face-to-face, -face, modular, online, or blended are implemented to continue the facilitation of learning. The completion rate of schools decreased for those modalities due to increase in dropouts. According to Great Martins et al. 2006, one of the measurements to see the effectiveness of the educational system of one country is their school dropout rate. Absenteeism and school dropout rates of students are discussed as an important criterion that shows the quality of education in a country. According to Kreisel, Genevieve, and Nelson 2007, school dropout has been defined as leaving education without obtaining a minimal credential. School dropout is a serious problem not only for the individual in school, but for society as a whole. The goal of this basic research study was to discover why students drop out of school. It provides explicit answers to the following question. Number one, what is the student's demographic profile in terms of age, gender or sex, grade level, family income, community type, number of siblings, and birth order? Number two, what is the student's reason or reasons from dropping out from school? Personal, school-related, family-related, theory-related, health-related, or other reasons. Descriptive quantitative research design was the method used. Schools are the form and focus group discussion were used to gather data. Descriptive analysis using frequency and percentage. The findings were the following. The number of job outs responded as well as Secundaria Senor de Salinas was highest among students aged 19 years old, years old or 33%. From the table, 2 presented the profile students according to gender, majority of student job out were males or 65%. On the other hand, 35 were female students. Based on the results of the survey, most of the respondent job outs are from grade 11 with 70%. Table 4 shows that majority of the student dropouts are from low-income families with 70%. From the Table 5 below, majority of the respondent dropouts are living in the suburban area with 93%. Presented in the Table 6, most of the respondent dropouts are having two siblings or 21%. The Table 7 shows the profile of respondent dropouts according to their birth order. Majority of responded dropouts are firstborn child with 40%. According to the survey's findings, the majority of dropouts cited family-related as the reason for leaving school with 42%. A focus group discussion or FGD led by the guidance counselor backed up this conclusion. The researchers undertook this study primarily to determine the problems encountered by dropouts in Escuela Secundaria Senor de Salinas as a basis for a proposed guidance intervention program to prevent the increasing rate of dropouts. It appears that the predominant encounter problem of the dropout students fell on the family-related reason under poverty and followed by the personal factor which distinguished as lack of interest. The result of this research study will be used as the basis for, of the intervention for the increasing dropout rate of the students in Escuela Secundaria Senor de Salinas. In the light of the major findings of the study, the following conclusions were drawn. Family factor appeared to be the most prevalent and counter problem of dropouts, which confers the respondents' family situation and financial issues. This implies the importance of family. Being the primary support group of a person, Family plays a big role in the totality of an individual. It was also discovered that the majority of these students are having financial problems. This was also crucial as to why they did not want to go to school since they would rather help their parents generate money in order to cover their daily costs, particularly food. 
based on the later findings and conclusions drawn, the researchers offered the sample intervention, proposed guidance intervention program, title of the program, enhanced counseling program. Background majority of the respondents encountered problems with regards to family factors, school concern, and personal issues. This intervention program is designed for high school dropouts, repeaters, and balik aral. It aims to help students continue their studies until they complete the course. This will enhance healthy school adjustment by providing supportive environment, which will develop students' perceptions of school a safe, cohesive, and well-organized environment in which they will learn and grow. These are the references that the researchers use in the basic research. Thank you very much.